What is up? What is going on? Dave at SVA Card Collectors. And I am driving to the East Coast Nationals. It'll be my first card show in a while. Typically, I don't like going to card shows because the people creep me out. I'm not gonna lie, all right? That's the main reason. I used to love card shows when I was a kid because it was like the only time where you would see a ton of cards. Um, it wasn't, you know, eBay wasn't as big or big at all. And uh, card shops, I love card shops, but I always felt like they were trying to take advantage of me. Um, but this year, I don't know, I got some um, optimism. I don't know if it's Gary V has pumped me up a little bit to um, go. But um, I actually went to, when I bought the uh, box break that we finally got done, it was three box, uh, instead of four, we went to three because I couldn't get everyone. Um, and so we opened them up and it was uh, decent. You had a Yadier to 25 auto. That was a good one. You had a um, the Bow, Bowman, Sterling, uh, it was a uh, Bryce Harper to 10. That was, I think that might have been the biggest one. Um, it wasn't an auto, but it was just an, an insert to 10, and that's pretty uh, pretty good. Um, so that was fun. I love opening up boxes. <clears throat> Even if I'm not making any money or, or anything like that, it's just fun. Jeez, my throat, it's verklempt. <clears throat> Sorry, people. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So anyway, so after that, after I opened those boxes, I put my kids to sleep. Um, my pregnant wife, I had to rub the feet. And then after that, it was game time, people. <clears throat> I finished opening up my uh, the first case of the 2019 Topps Heritage High Number. I loved opening up. I was up until around 1.30 in the morning. I spent about two hours opening up one case. That's what it came out to. Because I'm also <clears throat> opening it up for um, on camera. So you guys go to my YouTube channel, SVA Card Collectors, and check it out. I'm basically doing everything with regards to that case you are seeing. Um, the only thing that I did afterwards was I put everything back into the box that it came because I didn't have um, a big divider box. Um, I haven't separated them yet. Um, my big hits were a Pete Alonzo error card and a silver medal Fernando Tatis Jr. Of course he has to get hurt, that bastard. But that card is rarer than the black chrome card, and those black chrome cards were going over three. Um, so. If I get close to what they were selling for, well, I don't know about the Alonzo, if I can get a little bit more, I, because both, <clears throat> I compared Tatis Jr. to Vladimir Guerrero, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. for the silver medal, and he was going for $4.99, and then they made a deal. I don't know what that deal was. I couldn't do the trick because I was on the toilet doing my research, and so <clears throat> I couldn't figure it out. So, but I got to imagine it's over three. So, if I get 150, 200 for the Alonzo, which is more than what it was going for, um, and I get over three for my Tatis, I'm, I'm hoping because I know now he's out for the season. Had to happen. Of course, it had to happen. I knew I was going to get something big from him. But that's still an awesome card. I can't complain. One thing, I was surprised, no autos. Did not get one auto out of the blaster case. Um, I did get two relics, nothing crazy, but really the variations, the, the, those type of cards, that's what you're looking for in Heritage, which I actually like. I, I like the fact that I'm not sure, I'm trying to figure out if it's good or not. And you'll see that on the videos where I go, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at it, it could, be, it could be a monster of a card and I'm going, I, I just don't know. Um, but I have now 1,200, 1,300, no, I think 1,100 cards that I've opened. I got a bunch of, I thought a big deal, the cloth stickers, I thought those were big deals, but they come one in per box. 
I got a Vlad, I got a couple of Eloy, um, I got a nice Eloy uh, Chrome. There was one box that you get in the blaster where it was every single pack was a Chrome. So <clears throat> I'm assuming in every case you get one of these and they all, you get one box of Chrome, which was, I, I like. Sorry for the cutoff. I have to figure out how to stop incoming calls from stopping this because especially when it is damn telemarketing. To be honest with you, I want to curse, but I won't because that's how annoying these telemarketers are. Um, it literally is, I get, I'm getting six to seven calls a day and I can't block them because they change the numbers every single day. Um, really annoying, really frustrating. I don't know how to, to stop it. Sometimes I answer it and I just let it go. You know, just answer it not saying hello or nothing and then it just turns off. I don't know what the point is. I don't, is it just to know, see that if my phone is active? I have no idea. I really want to break. I, I would like to find these people and break their legs. That's what I would like to do. Dave's card collecting leg breaking show. But anyway, there is a ton, a ton of people signing autographs today. A ton. A bunch of Yankees, a bunch of, I, I think, uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, from Star Trek. I'm picturing his face. William Shatner. He's going to be there. Um, there's just a ton. And I don't care about it, so I don't even look it up, but R.J. Barrett's going to be there from the Knicks. Um, I wish I cared about that stuff, but I just don't. And to wait online for that nonsense? No, thank you. And same thing with Beckett. I was going to bring some cards to get graded. I'm not. For what? I'm going to wait online so they can uh, jerk me around and say, oh, you know, you saved some money. Nah. No, thank you. I want to go enjoy the show. I'm going to try to do some live broadcasting there. Um, that would be very nice. Um, I don't know how to do videos. You know, you see, you're starting to see people do fancy. They do B-roll where they have music playing in the background where they show. The, I don't know how to do that stuff. I'm sure it's very easy. Um, I just don't have the time. Maybe I should, you know what I should do? I should have somebody follow me and do videos. Yeah, that would be a, so to get to the next level. But that's really, that's not going to happen anytime soon. But I see a couple of guys doing it. I see a couple. I saw the one guy. Uh, what's his name? He's a kid. Kid. He's probably late 20s and early 30s. And he just bought a card shop. He hit a McCaffrey one of one. He did a good. Uh, he's pretty big on Instagram. God, I forget the guy's name. Seems like a nice person, um, knows his stuff uh, about basketball and, and football, and, um, but he had this one video where it's basically someone following around and he's talking about um, at Nationals where he did a, uh, a trade s swap, you know, I guess at the Nationals, it was, but it was separate. Ugh, what the hell do I care about the catering and, the <laughs> and all the, is everything going to be set up? It's not like um, it's someone famous, and so you're getting the behind the scenes. That's the, knock that out. We gotta just stick with the cards. If you're talking about deals, making deals, I think that would be be pretty good. Um, videotaping that. I wish I was able to get my glasses. I was gonna buy glasses that record, but all the ones that I saw, they look ridiculous. Like you literally, you can see a big camera like right in the middle, so it looks stupid. The other ones I've seen, you could have like a little, little dot. So I'm going to try to do that and then see if you can hear my haggling and everyone goes, oh, geez, Dave, you stink. But um, I think that's what people want to hear. People want to hear, well, how do you make a deal? How do you get these deals? How do you, how do, you do stuff like that? And a lot of the times it's me looking up on eBay like a fool, you know, right in front of people. And they see it. They know what you're doing. But that's why it's better to do your research, which I did very little. I was a little annoyed at myself because I did have time at work to 
because it was pretty slow where I could have done a little research during lunch. And um, I did some stuff for, for um, I keep on wanting to say, and I don't know why, Nick Van Exel. With, <coughs> it is not Nick Van Exel. It's uh, D'Angelo Russell. He looks nothing like him. I don't know why, but I keep on, I picture Nick Van Exel every single time. I'm thinking of D'Angelo Russell to get his rookie, but his rookie is a thousand bucks, eleven, twelve hundred bucks for his RPA, which is 2015, 2016. Um, RPA, the relic patch, you need an auto. Um, those are the ones that people really collect for rookie cards. And um, even his, his Prism Silvers, they all go for a hundred bucks, but that's just like common. That's just standard. Um, is that Mitch Robinson? Mitch Robinson is 70 for his Silver Prism. 70 bucks. That's a, a ton of money. You know, you can go for a baseball guy who's... You can get a Bryce Harper rookie for less than that. So, it's just... It's hard for me to... Basketball is definitely on the rise. People are more into it. And it is... um, The cards tend to be a lot higher. More expensive for the PSA 10s. um, The graded cards. Um, I might look for Sam Donald. But like I said before, guys... I'm hitting up a New York card show. They're gonna, they're gonna bring it. They're gonna raise the price. They can know what people are looking for. They're gonna see me, my sucker face going in there, and they're gonna want. They're gonna want to rip my head off with uh, those type of prices. So I tend to stay away from Yankees and and, and Jets and, and things like that when I go to these places. But um, I brought some cards to try to sell. I actually brought my 2011. Bowman Chrome um, Draft Mike Trout PSA 10 Um, I'm not really looking to move it so much I may want to trade it for something I'm not never done trades but I bought it for 220 and it's right around 400 now Um, I also have my Reese Hoskins to uh, to 50 auto Topps Chrome Rookie I'm looking to move that as well. Hopefully, I can find a buyer for that. I bought that for like 110, 115. Um, like to get 200. That's really what I'm lo- looking to get. But I, I haven't found. O- only one person has offered uh, 160 for it, um, which is still I'm still making 50 bucks. So it's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. Um, and that I bought on eBay. I, I saw that. And it looked low, and it just didn't get any higher. So I just made sure that I had the highest bid. And that made me happy. And also, I got a couple of my Otani's, the Topps Chrome PSA 10s that go for 20 bucks. I want to see if I can use some of those for trade bait to get some cards, some different cards. Because I have a lot of those, and um, they haven't been moving as well. Um, even though Otani's doing well, he's playing well, I think he just needs to, next year, where he needs to pitch. That's what it comes down to, because it's uh, him pitching. So, um, I'm petering out now. I'm a little tired from yesterday. I'm going to be super pumped when I get there. I'm going to tell you that. Um, I'll do some live live action there. Um, you will definitely get commentary, and I will be making fun of those people, even though I am those people. Somewhat. Somewhat those people. All right? Um... It's funny, someone said that I sounded like a fat guy. My friend Chris, who uh, got me into this. And <laughs> that would be a logical thing to think, being uh, that I went back into collecting. But I am a string bean. I am extremely skinny. I'm 6'3", 170. I've <laughs> been 172 forever. So, like, I, I don't breathe. You should tell right away if I'm just sitting here and you don't hear me go... Then you would know I am a bigger person. But uh, svacardcollectors.com, you know where to go. Flick chat, download the app. That's where I'm mostly chatting. I also have my Facebook group, YouTube as well. You can follow me opening up my plastic cases and see how much I make or don't make. Or uh, do I, you know, do I have to sell them on the streets? I don't know. All right, guys. I will see you guys later. Buy some cards and go broke. Later.